got my headphones here and the reason is I wanted to talk quickly today about audio on the AX53 and getting good audio on the device. It suffers from the same problem as a lot of cameras do. The actual audio input, so not necessarily the microphone on the, uh, on the camera itself, but the, the, uh, the microphone in is extremely noisy. And I wondered in a couple of times why my recordings had so much, so much sort of hiss in. And it's the same reason as people have experienced on, for example, the 5D was very well known for it. And it's the same thing that Rode mics try and bypass. So they have a pretty hot output. They have a fairly high level output to allow you to lower the level of the preamps in the camera. And that is definitely something I'd recommend you do on the AX53. I'm gonna demonstrate that to you now. So right now, I'm using a lav mic plugged into the AX53 and I've got the level set right, well, I'm gonna show you actually, I'm gonna go into the menus here, make sure that I can see what I'm doing and that I'm still recording, of course. And I'm gonna go into my audio menus and the audio, audio record level is set to manual and the record level is right down here. That is nowhere near where the camera will put it either in auto or for the output of a lot of devices. You'll probably need it to be more the same distance but from the top. And I'm gonna lower the output of my lav mics now because that has its own sort of AF out um, uh, level which I can adjust. And I'm gonna do that now going to increase the level. So you'll hardly be able to hear me now, by the way. I'm going to increase the level on the camera. One, two. How was, how was that? It's a bit loud. One, two. One, two. A bit much. One, two. Is that about right? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's put this into auto and see what the camera does with it. Okay, so listen to the hiss level in the background. Um, I'll try not to, I won't speak during this, but I'm gonna switch it back to manual now. Uh, listen to the hiss level and listen to how much that hiss is, well, how much, it's how much it's completely eliminated as I drop this down to the level I was just using before. And then adjust my lav mic output to compensate. And we have a pretty good level there with no hiss at all. So really the recommendation of this video, as with many other cameras, is make sure that the audio level is down here <laughs> on the bottom if you're using external mics. I mean, if you're not using external mics, you probably, you probably just got it set to auto anyway. And there's nothing wrong with that because you know you could the camera's fine like that it works okay it's not going to sound great but it, it works okay but if you are using an external mic don't use it on auto and don't use it with that level set up there because the hiss on the camera is really bad so drop it right down and adjust your other device accordingly now some cheaper audio devices some cheaper mics some cheaper preamp um, preamps on the mic, so if you had a cheap lav pack, for example, might output an equal amount of noise. So you know, you it might just end. You might just end up balance, getting a balance, you know, between the two where you end up with noise anyway. But the chances are that your dedicated audio device is going to give a cleaner, more hiss-free output than the camera has on its preamps. So. Uh, yeah, that would be my recommendation for you if you're going to use external audio on the AX53.